The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show to his bond servants, the things which must soon take place, and he sent and communicated it by his angel to his bond servant John who testified to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ, everything that he saw. 3. Blessed is the one who reads, and those who hear the words of the prophecy and keep the things which are written in it, for the time is near. John to the seven churches that are in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is, and who was, and who is to come, and from the seven spirits who are before his throne. And from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth. To him who loves us and released us from our sins by his blood. And he made us into a kingdom, priests to his God and Father, to him be the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him and all the tribes of the earth will mourn over him. So it is to be. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and hoist to come, the Almighty. I, John, your brother and fellow participant in the tribulation and kingdom and perseverance in Jesus, was on the island called Patmos because of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day, and I heard behind me a loud voice like the sound of a trumpet, saying, Write on a scroll what you see, and send it to the seven churches, to Ephesus, Smyrna, Pergamum, Thyatira, Sardis, Philadelphia, and Laodicea. Then I turned to see the voice that was speaking with me. And after turning I saw seven golden lampstands. And in the middle of the lampstands I saw one like a son of man, clothed in a robe reaching to the feet, and wrapped around the chest with a golden sash. His head and his hair were white like white wool, like snow, and his eyes were like a flame of fire. His feet were like burnished bronze when it has been heated to a glow in a furnace, and his voice was like the sound of many waters. In his right hand he held seven stars, and out of his mouth came a sharp two-edged sword, and his face was like the sun shining in its strength. When I saw him, I fell at his feet like a dead man. And he placed his right hand on me, saying, Do not be afraid, I am the first and the last. And the living one, and he was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore, and I have the keys of death and of Hades. Therefore write the things which you have seen and the things which are, and the things which will take place after these things. As for the mystery of the seven stars which you saw in my right hand, and the seven golden lampstands, the seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven lampstands are the seven churches. To the angel of the church in Ephesus write, the one who holds the seven stars in his right hand, the one who walks among the seven golden lampstands, says this. I know your deeds and your labor and perseverance, and that you cannot tolerate evil people, and you have put those who call themselves apostles to the test, and they are not, and you found them to be false. And you have perseverance and have endured on account of my name, and have not become weary. But I have this against you, that you have left your first love. Therefore, remember from where you have fallen, and repent, and do thieves you did at first, or else I am coming to you and I will remove your lampstand from its place, unless you repent. But you have this, that you hate the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. The one who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the one who overcomes, I will grant to eat from the tree of life, which is in the paradise of God. And to the angel of the church in Smyrna write, the first and the last, who was dead, and has come to life, says this. I know your tribulation and your poverty, but you are rich, and the slander by those who say they are Jews, and are not, but are a synagogue of Satan. 
10 Do not fear what you are about to suffer. Behold, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison, so that you will be tested, and you will have tribulation for ten days. Be ye faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. The one who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. The one who overcomes will not be hurt by the second death. And to the angel of the church in Pergamum write, the one who has the sharp two-edged sword says this. I know where you dwell, where Satan's throne is, and you hold firmly to my name, and did not deny my faith even in the days of Antipas, my witness, my faithful one, who was killed among you, where Satan dwells. But I have a few things against you, because you have some there who hold the teaching of Balaam, who kept teaching Balak to put a stumbling block before the sons of Israel, to eat things sacrificed to idols and to commit sexual immorality. So you too, have some who in the same way hold to the teaching of the Nicolaitans. Therefore repent, or else I am coming to you quickly, and I will wage war against them with the sword of my mouth. The one who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the one who overcomes, I will give some of the hidden manna, and I will give him a white stone, and a new name written on the stone which no one knows except the one who receives it. And to the angel of the church in Thyatira write, The Son of God, who has eyes like a flame of fire, and feet like burnished bronze, says this. I know your deeds, and your love and faith, and service and perseverance, and that your deeds of late are greater than at first. But I have this against you, that you tolerate the woman Jezebel, who calls herself a prophetess, and she teaches and leads my bond servants astray so that they commit sexual immorality and eat things sacrificed to idols. I gave her time to repent, and she does not want to repent of her sexual immorality. Behold, I will throw her on a bed of sickness, and those who commit adultery with her into great tribulation, unless they repent of her deeds. And I will kill her children with plague, and all the churches will know that I am he who searches the minds and hearts, and I will give to each one of you according to your deeds. But I say to you, the rest who are in Thyatira, who do not hold this teaching, who have not known the deep things of Satan, as they call them, I place no other burden on you. Nevertheless what you have, hold firmly until I come. The one who overcomes, and the one who keeps my deeds until the end, I will give him authority over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of the potter are shattered, as I also have received authority from my father. And I will give him the morning star. The one who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the angel of the church in Sardis write, He who has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars, says this, I know your deeds, that you have a name that you are alive, and yet you are dead. Be constantly alert, and strengthen the things that remain, which were about to die, for I have not found your deeds completed in the sight of my God. So remember what you have received and heard, and keep it, and repent. Then if you are not alert, I will come like a thief, and you will not know at what hour I will come to you. But you have a few people in Sardis who have not soiled their garments, and they will walk with me in white, for they are worthy. The one who overcomes will be clothed the same way, in white garments, and I will not erase his name from the book of life and I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. The one who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, He who is holy, who is true, who has the key of David, who opens and no one will shut, and who shuts and no one opens, says this. I know your deeds. Behold, I have put before you an open door which no one can shut, because you have a little power, and have followed my word, and have not denied my name. Behold, I will make those of the synagogue of Satan, 
who say that they are Jews and are not, but lie, I will make them come and bow down before your feet, and make them know that I have loved you. 10 Because you have kept my word of perseverance, I also will keep you from the hour of the testing, that hour which is about to come upon the whole world, totest those who live on the earth. I am coming quickly, hold firmly to what you have, so that no one will take your crown. The one who overcomes, I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God, and he will not go out from it any more, and I will write on him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which comes down out of heaven from my God, and my new name. The one who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the angel of the church in Laodicea write, The Amen, the faithful and true witness, the origin of the creation of God, says this. I know your deeds, that you are neither cold nor hot, I wish that you were cold or hot. So because you are lukewarm, and neither hot nor cold, I will vomit you out of my mouth. Because you say, I am rich, and have become wealthy, and have no need of anything, and you do not know that you are wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and naked. I advise you to buy from me gold refined by fire so that you may become rich, and white garments so that you may clothe yourself and the shame of your nakedness will not be revealed, and I salve to apply to your eyes so that you may see. Those whom I love, I rebuke and discipline, therefore be zealous and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock, if anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and will dine with him, and he with me. The one who overcomes, I will grant to him to sit with me on my throne, as I also overcame and sat with my father on his throne. The one who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. After these things I looked, and behold, a door standing open in heaven, and the first voice which I had heard, like the sound of a trumpet speaking with me, said, Come up here, and I will show you what must take place after these things. Immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne was standing in heaven, and someone was sitting on the throne. And he who was sitting was like a jasper stone and a sardius in appearance, and there was a rainbow around the throne, like an emerald in appearance. Around the throne were twenty-four thrones, and upon the thrones I saw twenty-four elders sitting, clothed in white garments, and golden crowns on their heads. Out from the throne asterisk came flashes of lightning and sounds and peals of thunder. And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. And before the throne there was something like a sea of glass, like crystal, and in the center and around the throne, for living creatures full of eyes in front and behind. The first living creature was like a lion, the second creature like a calf, the third creature had a face like that of a man, and the fourth creature was like a flying eagle. And the four living creatures, each one of them having six wings, are full of eyes around and within, and day and night they do not cease to say, Holy, Holy, Holy is the Lord God, the Almighty, who was and who is and who is to come. And when the living creatures give glory, honor, and thanks to him who sits on the throne, to him who lives forever and ever, the twenty-four elders will fall down before him who sits on the throne, and they will worship him who lives forever and ever, and will cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Worthy are you, our Lord and our God, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and because of your will they existed, and were created. I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne a scroll written inside and on the back, sealed up with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the scroll and to break its seals. And no one in heaven or on the earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look into it. Then I began to weep greatly because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to look into it. 
And one of the elders asterisk said to me, Stop weeping, behold, the lion that is from the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has overcome so as to be able to open the scroll and its seven seals. And I saw between the throne, with the four living creatures, and the elders a lamb standing, as if slaughtered, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. And he came and took the scroll out of the right hand of him who sat on the throne. When he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb, each one holding a harp and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And they asterisk sang a new song, saying, Worthy are you to take the scroll and to break its seals, for you were slaughtered, and you purchased people for God with your blood from every tribe, language, people, and nation. You have made them into a kingdom and priests to our God, and they will reign upon the earth. Then I looked, and I heard the voices of many angels around the throne and the living creatures and the elders, and the number of them was myriads of myriads, and thousands of thousands. Saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slaughtered to receive power, wealth, wisdom, might, honor, glory, and blessing. And I heard every created thing which is in heaven, or on the earth, or under the earth, or on the sea, and all the things in them, saying, To him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be the blessing, the honor, the glory, and the dominion forever and ever. And the four living creatures were saying, Amen. And the elders fell down and worshipped. Then I saw when the Lamb broke one of the seven seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures saying as with a voice of thunder, Come. I looked, and behold, a white horse, and the one who sat on it had a bow, and a crown was given to him, and he went out conquering and to conquer. When he broke the second seal, I heard the second living creature saying, Come. And another, a red horse, went out, and to him who sat on it, it was granted to take peace from the earth, and that people would kill one another, and a large sword was given to him. When he broke the third seal, I heard the third living creature saying, Come. I looked, and behold, a black horse, and the one who sat on it had a pair of scales in his hand. And I heard something like a voice in the center of the four living creatures saying, A quart of wheat for a denarius, and three quarts of barley for a denarius, and do not damage the oil and the wine. When the Lamb broke the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature saying, Come. I looked, and behold, an ashen horse, and the one who sat on it had the name Death, and Hades was following with him. Authority was given to them over a fourth of the earth, to kill with sword, and famine, and plague, and by the wild animals of the earth. When the Lamb broke the fifth seal, I saw underneath the altar the souls of those who had been killed because of the word of God, and because of the testimony which they had maintained. And they cried out with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, will you refrain from judging and avenging our blood on those who live on the earth? And a white robe was given to each of them, and they were told that they were to rest for a little while longer, until the number of their fellow servants and their brothers and sisters who were to be killed even as they had been, was completed also. And I looked when he broke the sixth seal, and there was a great earthquake, and the sun became as black as sackcloth made of hair, and the whole moon became like blood. And the stars of the sky fell to the earth, as a fig tree drops its unripe figs when shaken by a great wind. The sky was split apart like a scroll when it is rolled up, and every mountain island was removed from its place. Then the kings of the earth and the eminent people, and the commanders and the wealthy and the strong, and every slave and free person hid themselves in the caves and among the rocks of the mountains. And they asterisk said to the mountains and the rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the sight of him who sits on the throne, 
and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of their wrath has come, and who is able to stand? After this I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding back the four winds of the earth so that no wind would blow on the earth, or on the sea, or on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the rising of the sun, holding the seal of the living God, and he called out with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was granted to harm the earth and the sea, saying, Do not harm the earth, or the sea, or the trees until we have sealed the bondservants of our God on their foreheads. And I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000, sealed from every tribe of the sons of Israel. From the tribe of Judah, 12,000 were sealed, from the tribe of Reuben 12,000, from the tribe of Gad 12,000. From the tribe of Asher 12,000, from the tribe of Naphtali 12,000, from the tribe of Manasseh 12,000. From the tribe of Simeon 12,000, from the tribe of Levi 12,000, from the tribe of Issachar 12,000. From the tribe of Zebulun 12,000, from the tribe of Joseph 12,000, and from the tribe of Benjamin, twelve thousand were sealed. After these things I looked, and behold, a great multitude which no one could count, from every nation all the tribes, peoples, and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes, and palm branches were in their hands. And they asterisk cried out with a loud voice, saying, Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne, and to the Lamb. And all the angels were standing around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures, and they fell on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, saying, Amen, blessing, glory, wisdom, thanksgiving, honor, power, and might belong to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders responded, saying to me, These who are clothed in the white robes, who are they, and where have they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you know. And he said to me, These are the ones who come out of the great tribulation, and they have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. For this reason they are before the throne of God, and they serve him day and night in his temple and he who sits on the throne will spread his tabernacle over them. They will no longer hunger nor thirst, nor will the sun beat down on them, nor any scorching heat. For the Lamb in the center of the throne will be their shepherd, and will guide them to springs of the water of life, and God will wipe every tear from their eyes. When the Lamb broke the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for about half an hour. And I saw the seven angels who stand before God, and seven trumpets were given to them. Another angel came and stood at the altar, holding a golden censer, and much incense was given to him, so that he might add it to the prayers of all the saints on the golden altar which was before the throne. And the smoke of the incense ascended from the angel's hand with the prayers of the saints before God. Then the angel took the censer and filled it with the fire of the altar, and hurled it to the earth, and there were peals of thunder and sounds, and flashes of lightning and an earthquake. And the seven angels who had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound them. The first sounded, and there was hail and fire mixed with blood, and it was hurled to the earth, and a third of the earth was burned up, and a third of the trees were burned up and all the green grass was burned up. The second angel sounded, and something like a great mountain burning with fire was hurled into the sea, and a third of the sea became blood. And a third of the creatures which were in the sea and had life, died, and a third of the ships were destroyed. The third angel sounded, and a great star fell from heaven, burning like a torch, and it fell on a third of the rivers and on the springs of waters. The star is named Wormwood, and a third of the waters became Wormwood, and many people died from the waters because they were made bitter. The fourth angel sounded, and a third of the sun, 
a third of the moon, and a third of the stars were struck, so that a third of them would be darkened and the day would not shine for a third of it, and the night in the same way. Then I looked, and I heard an eagle flying in mid-heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe to those who live on the earth, because of the remaining blasts of the trumpet of the three angels who are about to sound. Then the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star from heaven which had fallen to the earth, and the key to the shaft of the abyss was given to him. He opened the shaft of the abyss, and smoke ascended out of the shaft like the smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened from the smoke of the shaft. Then out of the smoke came locusts upon the earth, and power was given them, as the scorpions of the earth have power. They were told not to hurt the grass of the earth, nor any green thing, nor any tree, but only the people who do not have the seal of God on their foreheads. And they were not permitted to kill anyone, but to torment for five months, and their torment was like the torment of a scorpion when it stings a person. And in those days people will seek death and will not find it, they will long to die, and death will flee from them. The appearance of the locusts was like horses prepared for battle, and on their heads appeared to be crowns like gold, and their faces were like human faces. They had hair like the hair of women, and their teeth were like the teeth of lions. They had breastplates like breastplates of iron, and the sound of their wings was like the sound of chariots, of many horses rushing to battle. They have tails like scorpions, and stings, and in their tails is their power to hurt people for five months. They have as king over them, the angel of the abyss, his name in Hebrew is Abaddon, and in the Greek he has the name Apollyon. The first woe has passed, behold, two woes are still coming after these things. Then the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar which is before God, saying to the sixth angel who had the trumpet, Release the four angels who are bound at the great river Euphrates. And the four angels, who had been prepared for the hour and day and month and year, were released, so that they would kill a third of mankind. 16 The number of the armies of the horsemen was two hundred million, I heard the number of them. And this is how I saw in my vision the horses and those who sat on them, the riders had breastplates the color of fire, of hyacinth, and of brimstone, and the heads of the horses are like the heads of lions, and out of their mouths asterisk came fire and smoke and brimstone. A third of mankind was killed by these three plagues, by the fire, the smoke, and the brimstone which came out of their mouths. For the power of the horses is in their mouths and in their tails, for their tails are like serpents and have heads, and with them they do harm. The rest of mankind, who were not killed by these plagues, did not repent of the works of their hands so as not to worship demons and the idols of gold, silver, brass, stone, and wood, which can neither see nor hear nor walk. And they did not repent of their murders, nor of their witchcraft, nor of their sexual immorality, nor of their thefts. I saw another strong angel coming down from heaven, clothed with a cloud, and the rainbow was on his head, and his face was like the sun, and his feet like pillars of fire. And he had in his hand a little scroll, which was open. He placed his right foot on the sea and his left on the land. And he cried out with a loud voice, as when a lion roars, and when he had cried out, the seven peals of thunder uttered their voices. When the seven peals of thunder had spoken, I was about to write, and I heard a voice from heaven, saying, Seal up the things which the seven peals of thunder have spoken, and do not write them. Then the angel whom I saw standing on the sea and on the land raised his right hand to heaven, and swore by him who lives forever and ever, who created heaven and the things in it, and the earth and the things in it, and the sea and the things in it, that there will no longer be a delay. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, 
when he is about to sound, then the mystery of God is finished, as he announced to his servants the prophets. Then the voice which I heard from heaven, I heard again speaking with me, and saying, Go, take the scroll which is open in the hand of the angel who stands on the sea and on the land. And I went to the angel, telling him to give me the little scroll. And he asterisk said to me, Take it and eat it, it will make your stomach bitter, but in your mouth it will be sweet as honey. I took the little scroll from the angel's hand and ate it, and in my mouth it was sweet as honey, and when I had eaten it, my stomach was made bitter. And they asterisk said to me, You must prophesy again concerning many peoples, nations, languages, and kings. I was given a reed like a measuring rod and was told, Go and measure the temple of God and the altar, with its worshippers. But exclude the outer court, do not measure it, because it has been given to the Gentiles. They will trample on the holy city for forty-two months. And I will appoint my two witnesses, and they will prophesy for one thousand two hundred and sixty days, clothed in sackcloth. They are the two olive trees and the two lampstands, and they stand before the Lord of the earth. If anyone tries to harm them, fire comes from their mouths and devours their enemies. This is how anyone who wants to harm them must die. They have power to shut up the heavens so that it will not rain during the time they are prophesying, and they have power to turn the waters into blood and to strike the earth with every kind of plague as often as they want. Now when they have finished their testimony, the beast that comes up from the abyss will attack them, and overpower and kill them. Their bodies will lie in the public square of the great city which is figuratively called Sodom and Egypt where also their Lord was crucified. For three and a half days some from every people, tribe, language and nation will gaze on their bodies and refuse them burial. The inhabitants of the earth will gloat over them and will celebrate by sending each other gifts, because these two prophets had tormented those who live on the earth. But after the three and a half days the breath of life from God entered them, and they stood on their feet, and terror struck those who saw them. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, Come up here. And they went up to heaven in a cloud, while their enemies looked on. At that very hour there was a severe earthquake and a tenth of the city collapsed. Seven thousand people were killed in the earthquake, and the survivors were terrified and gave glory to the God of heaven. The second woe has passed, the third woe is coming soon. The seventh angel sounded his trumpet, and there were loud voices in heaven, which said, The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Messiah, and he will reign for ever and ever. And the twenty-four elders, who were seated on their thrones before God, fell on their faces and worshipped God, saying, We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, the one who is and who was, because you have taken your great power and have begun to reign. The nations were angry, and your wrath has come. The time has come for judging the dead, and for rewarding your servants the prophets and your people who revere your name, both great and small, and for destroying those who destroy the earth. Then God's temple in heaven was opened, and within his temple was seen the ark of his covenant. And there came flashes of lightning, rumblings, peals of thunder, an earthquake and a severe hailstorm. A great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, and the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. And she was pregnant and she asterisk cried out, being in labor and in pain to give birth. Then another sign appeared in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns, and on his heads were seven crowns. Four and his tail asterisk swept away a third of the stars of heaven and hurled them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman who was about to give birth, so that when she gave birth he might devour her child. 
And she gave birth to a son, a male, who is going to rule all the nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up to God and to his throne. Then the woman fled into the wilderness where she asterisk had a place prepared by God, so that there she would be nourished for one thousand two hundred and sixty days. And there was war in heaven, Michael and his angels waging war with the dragon. The dragon and his angels waged war. And they did not prevail, and there was no longer a place found for them in heaven. And the great dragon was thrown down, the serpent of old who is called the devil and Satan, who deceives the whole world, he was thrown down to the earth, and his angels were thrown down with him. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven, saying, Now the salvation, and the power, and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have come, for the accuser of our brothers and sisters has been thrown down, the one who accuses them before our God day and night. And they overcame him because of the blood of the Lamb and because of the word of their testimony, and they did not love their life even when faced with death. For this reason, rejoice, you heavens and you who dwell in them. Woe to the earth and the sea, because the devil has come down to you with great wrath, knowing that he has only a short time. And when the dragon saw that he was thrown down to the earth, he persecuted the woman who gave birth to the male child. But the two wings of the great eagle were given to the woman, so that she could fly into the wilderness to her place, where she asterisk was nourished for a time, times, and half a time, away from the presence of the serpent. And the serpent hurled water like a river out of his mouth after the woman, so that he might cause her to be swept away with the flood. But the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened its mouth and drank up the river which the dragon had hurled out of his mouth. So the dragon was enraged with the woman, and went off to make war with the rest of her children, who keep the commandments of God and hold to the testimony of Jesus. And the dragon stood on the sand of the seashore. Then I saw a beast coming up out of the sea, having ten horns and seven heads, and on his horns were ten crowns, and on his heads were blasphemous names. And the beast that I saw was like a leopard, and his feet were like those of a bear, and his mouth like the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him his power and his throne, and great authority. I saw one of his heads as if it had been fatally wounded, and his fatal wound was healed. And the whole earth was amazed and followed after the beast. They worshipped the dragon because he gave his authority to the beast, and they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like the beast, and who is able to wage war with him? A mouth was given to him speaking arrogant words and blasphemies, and authority to act for forty-two months was given to him. And he opened his mouth in blasphemies against God, to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle, that is, those who dwell in heaven. It was also given to him to make war with the saints and to overcome them, and authority was given to him over every tribe, people, language, and nation. Eight all who live on the earth will worship him, everyone whose name has not been written since the foundation of the world in the book of life of the Lamb who has been slaughtered. If anyone has an ear, let him hear. If anyone is destined for captivity, to captivity he goes, if anyone kills with the sword, with the sword he must be killed. Here is the perseverance and the faith of the saints. Then I saw another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spoke as a dragon. He exercises all the authority of the first beast in his presence. And he makes the earth and those who live on it worship the first beast, whose fatal wound was healed. He performs great signs, so that he even makes fire come down out of the sky to the earth in the presence of people. And he deceives those who live on the earth because of the signs which it was given him to perform in the presence of the beast, telling those who live on the earth to make an image to the beast who asterisk had the wound of the sword and has come to life. 
And it was given to him to give breath to the image of the beast, so that the image of the beast would even speak and cause all who do not worship the image of the beast to be killed. And he causes all, the small and the great, the rich and the poor, and the free and the slaves, to be given a mark on their right hands or on their foreheads. And he decrees that no one will be able to buy or to sell, except the one who has the mark, either the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for the number is that of a man, and his number is 666. Then I looked, and behold, the Lamb was standing on Mount Zion, and with him 144,000 who had his name and the name of his Father written on their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven, like the sound of many waters and like the sound of loud thunder, and the voice which I heard was like the sound of harpists playing on their harps. And they asterisk sang a new song before the throne and before the four living creatures and the elders, and no one was able to learn the song except the 144,000 who had been purchased from the earth. These are the ones who have not defiled themselves with women, for they are celibate. These are the ones who follow the Lamb wherever He goes. These have been purchased from mankind as first fruits to God and to the Lamb. And no lie was found in their mouths, they are blameless. And I saw another angel flying in mid-heaven with an eternal gospel to preach to those who live on the earth, and to every nation, tribe, language, and people. And he said with a loud voice, Fear God and give him glory, because the hour of his judgment has come, worship him who made the heaven and the earth, and sea, and springs of waters. And another angel, a second one, followed, saying, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great, she who has made all the nations drink of the wine of the passion of her sexual immorality. Then another angel, a third one, followed them, saying with a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast in his image, and receives a mark on his forehead or on his hand, he also will drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is mixed in full strength in the cup of his anger, and he will be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascends forever and ever, they have no rest day and night, those who worship the beast and his image, and whoever receives the mark of his name. Here is the perseverance of the saints who keep the commandments of God and their faith in Jesus. And I heard a voice from heaven, saying, Write, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit, so that they may rest from their labors, for their deeds follow with them. Then I looked, and behold, a white cloud, and sitting on the cloud was one like a son of man, with a golden crown on his head and a sharp sickle in his hand. And another angel came out of the temple, calling out with a loud voice to him who sat on the cloud, Put in your sickle and reap, for the hour to reap has come, because the harvest of the earth is ripe. Then he who sat on the cloud swung his sickle over the earth, and the earth was reaped. And another angel came out of the temple which is in heaven, and he also had a sharp sickle. Then another angel, the one who has power over fire, came out from the altar, and he called with a loud voice to him who had the sharp sickle, saying, Put in your sharp sickle and gather the clusters from the vine of the earth, because her grapes are ripe. So the angel swung his sickle to the earth and gathered the clusters from the vine of the earth, and threw them into the great winepress of the wrath of God. And the winepress was trampled outside the city, and blood came out from the winepress, up to the horses' bridles, for a distance of one thousand six hundred stadia. Then I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels who had seven plagues, which are the last, because in them the wrath of God is finished. And I saw something like a sea of glass mixed with fire, and those who were victorious over the beast and his image and the number of his name, 
standing on the sea of glass, holding harps of God. And they asterisk sang the song of Moses, the bondservant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are your works, Lord God, the Almighty, righteous and true are your ways, King of the nations. Who will not fear you, Lord, and glorify your name? For you alone are holy, for all the nations will come and worship before you, for your righteous acts have been revealed. After these things I looked, and the temple of the tabernacle of testimony in heaven was opened. And the seven angels who had the seven plagues came out of the temple, clothed in linen, clean and bright, and their chests wrapped with golden sashes. And one of the four living creatures gave the seven angels seven golden bowls full of the wrath of God, who lives forever and ever. And the temple was filled with smoke from the glory of God and from his power, and no one was able to enter the temple until the seven plagues of the seven angels were finished. Then I heard a loud voice from the temple, saying to the seven angels, Go and pour out on the earth the seven bowls of the wrath of God. So the first angel went and poured out his bowl on the earth, and a harmful and painful sore afflicted the people who had the mark of the beast and who worshipped his image. The second angel poured out his bowl into the sea, and it became blood like that of a dead man, and every living thing in the sea died. Then the third angel poured out his bowl into the rivers and the springs of waters, and they became blood. And I heard the angel of the water saying, Righteous are you, the one who is and who was, O Holy One, because you judged these things. For they poured out the blood of saints and prophets, and you have given them blood to drink. They deserve it. And I heard the altar saying, Yes, Lord God, the Almighty, true and righteous are your judgments. And the fourth angel poured out his bowl upon the sun, and it was given power to scorch people with fire. And the people were scorched with fierce heat, and they blasphemed the name of God who has the power over these plagues, and they did not repent so as to give him glory. And the fifth angel poured out his bowl on the throne of the beast, and his kingdom became darkened, and they gnawed their tongues because of pain, eleven and they blasphemed the God of heaven because of their pain and their sores, and they did not repent of their deeds. The sixth angel poured out his bowl on the great river, the Euphrates, and its water was dried up, so that the way would be prepared for the kings from the east. And I saw coming out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet, three unclean spirits like frogs. For they are spirits of demons, performing signs, which go out to the kings of the entire world, to gather them together for the war of the great day of God, the Almighty. Behold, I am coming like a thief. Blessed is the one who stays awake and keeps his clothes, so that he will not walk about naked and people will not see his shame. And they gathered them together to the place which in Hebrew is called Harmagedon. Then the seventh angel poured out his bowl upon the air, and a loud voice came out of the temple from the throne, saying, It is done. And there were flashes of lightning and sounds and peals of thunder, and there was a great earthquake, such as there had not been since mankind came to be upon the earth, so great an earthquake was it, and so mighty. The great city was split into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell. Babylon the Great was remembered in the sight of God, to give her the cup of the wine of his fierce wrath. And every island fled, and no mountains were found. And huge hailstones, weighing about a talent each, asterisk came down from heaven upon people, and people blasphemed God because of the plague of the hail, because the hailstone plague asterisk was extremely severe. Then one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls came and spoke with me, saying, Come here, I will show you the judgment of the great prostitute who sits on many waters, with whom the kings of the earth committed acts of sexual immorality, 
and those who live on the earth became drunk with the wine of her sexual immorality. And he carried me away in the spirit into a wilderness, and I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast, full of blasphemous names, having seven heads and ten horns. The woman was clothed in purple and scarlet, and adorned with gold, precious stones, and pearls, holding in her hand a gold cup full of abominations and of the unclean things of her sexual immorality. And on her forehead a name was written, a mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of prostitutes and of the abominations of the earth. And I saw the woman drunk with the blood of the saints, and with the blood of the witnesses of Jesus. When I saw her, I wondered greatly. And the angel said to me, Why do you wonder? I will tell you the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carries her, which has the seven heads and the ten horns. The beast that you saw was, and is not, and is about to come up out of the abyss and go to destruction. And those who live on the earth, whose names have not been written in the book of life from the foundation of the world, will wonder when they see the beast, that he was, and is not, and will come. Here is the mind which has wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains upon which the woman sits. And they are seven kings, five have fallen, one is, the other has not yet come, and when he comes, he must remain a little while. The beast which was, and is not, is himself also an eighth and is one of the seven, and he goes to destruction. The ten horns which you saw are ten kings who have not yet received a kingdom, but they receive authority as kings with the beast for one hour. These have one purpose, and they give their power and authority to the beast. These will wage war against the Lamb, and the Lamb will overcome them because he is Lord of lords and King of kings, and those who are with him are the called and chosen and faithful. And he asterisk said to me, the waters which you saw where the prostitute sits are peoples and multitudes, and nations and languages. And the ten horns which you saw, and the beast, these will hate the prostitute and will make her desolate and naked, and will eat her flesh and will burn her up with fire. For God has put it in their hearts to execute his purpose by having a common purpose, and by giving their kingdom to the beast, until the words of God will be fulfilled. The woman whom you saw is the great city, which reigns over the kings of the earth. After these things I saw another angel coming down from heaven, having great authority, and the earth was illuminated from his glory. And he cried out with a mighty voice, saying, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. She has become a dwelling place of demons and a prison of every unclean spirit, and a prison of every unclean and hateful bird. For all the nations have fallen because of the wine of the passion of her sexual immorality, and the kings of the earth have committed acts of sexual immorality with her, and the merchants of the earth have become rich from the excessive wealth of her luxury. I heard another voice from heaven, saying, Come out of her, my people, so that you will not participate in her sins and receive any of her plagues. For her sins have piled up as high as heaven, and God has remembered her offenses. Six pay her back even as she has paid, and give back to her double according to her deeds, in the cup which she has mixed, mix twice as much for her. To the extent that she glorified herself and lived luxuriously, to the same extent give her torment and mourning, for she says in her heart, I sit as a queen and I am not a widow, and will never see mourning. For this reason in one day her plagues will come, plague and mourning and famine, and she will be burned up with fire, for the Lord God who judges her is strong. And the kings of the earth, who committed acts of sexual immorality and lived luxuriously with her, will weep and mourn over her when they see the smoke of her burning. Standing at a distance because of the fear of her torment, saying, Woe, woe, the great city, Babylon, the strong city. For in one hour your judgment has come. 
And the merchants of the earth weep and mourn over her, because no one buys their cargo any more. Cargo of gold, silver, precious stones, and pearls, fine linen, purple, silk, and scarlet, every kind of citron wood, every article of ivory, and every article made from very valuable wood, bronze, iron, and marble. Cinnamon, spice, incense, perfume, frankincense, wine, olive oil, fine flour, wheat, cattle, sheep, and cargo of horses, carriages, slaves, and human lives. The fruit you long for has left you, and all things that were luxurious and splendid have passed away from you and people will no longer find them. The merchants of these things, who became rich from her, will stand at a distance because of the fear of her torment, weeping and mourning. Saying, Woe, woe, the great city, she who was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet, and adorned with gold, precious stones, and pearls. For in one hour such great wealth has been laid waste. And every shipmaster and every passenger and sailor, and all who make their living by the sea, stood at a distance. And were crying out as they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like the great city? And they threw dust on their heads and were crying out, weeping and mourning, saying, Woe, woe, the great city, in which all who had ships at sea became rich from her prosperity, for in one hour she has been laid waste. Rejoice over her, O heaven, and you saints and apostles and prophets, because God has pronounced judgment for you against her. Then a strong angel picked up a stone like a great millstone and threw it into the sea, saying, So will Babylon, the great city, be thrown down with violence, and will never be found again. And the sound of harpists, musicians, flute players, and trumpeters will never be heard in you again, and no craftsman of any craft will ever be found in you again, and the sound of a mill will never be heard in you again. And the light of a lamp will never shine in you again, and the voice of the groom and bride will never be heard in you again, for your merchants were the powerful people of the earth, because all the nations were deceived by your witchcraft. And in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints, and of all who have been slaughtered on the earth. After these things I heard something like a loud voice of a great multitude in heaven, saying, Hallelujah! Salvation, glory, and power belong to our God, too because His judgments are true and righteous, for He has judged the great prostitute who was corrupting the earth with her sexual immorality, and He has avenged the blood of His bondservants on her. And a second time they said, Hallelujah! Her smoke rises forever and ever. For and the twenty-four elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshipped God who sits on the throne, saying, Amen. Hallelujah. And a voice came from the throne, saying, Give praise to our God, all you his bondservants, you who fear him, the small and the great. Then I heard something like the voice of a great multitude and like the sound of many waters, and like the sound of mighty peals of thunder, saying, Hallelujah! For the Lord our God, the Almighty, reigns. Let's rejoice and be glad and give the glory to Him, because the marriage of the Lamb has come, and His bride has prepared herself. It was given to her to clothe herself in fine linen, bright and clean, for the fine linen is the righteous acts of the saints. Then he asterisk said to me, Write, Blessed are those who are invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. And he asterisk said to me, These are the true words of God. Then I fell at his feet to worship him. But he asterisk said to me, Do not do that, I am a fellow servant of yours and your brothers and sisters who hold the testimony of Jesus, worship God. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse, and he who sat on it is called Faithful and True, 
and in righteousness he judges and wages war. 12 His eyes are a flame of fire, and on his head are many crowns, and he has a name written on him which no one knows except himself. He is clothed with a robe dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies which are in heaven, clothed in fine linen, white and clean, were following him on white horses. From his mouth comes a sharp sword, so that with it he may strike down the nations, and he will rule them with a rod of iron, and he treads the winepress of the fierce wrath of God, the Almighty. And on his robe and on his thigh he has a name written, King of Kings, and Lord of Lords. Then I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried out with a loud voice, saying to all the birds that fly in mid-heaven, Come, assemble for the great feast of God. So that you may eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of commanders, the flesh of mighty men, the flesh of horses and of those who sit on them, and the flesh of all people, both free and slaves, and small and great. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies, assembled to make war against him who sat on the horse, and against his army. And the beast was seized, and with him the false prophet who performed the signs in his presence, by which he deceived those who had received the mark of the beast and those who worshipped his image, these two were thrown alive into the lake of fire, which burns with brimstone. And the rest were killed with the sword which came from the mouth of him who sat on the horse, and all the birds were filled with their flesh. Then I saw an angel coming down from heaven, holding the key of the abyss and a great chain in his hand. And he took hold of the dragon, the serpent of old, who is the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. And he threw him into the abyss and shut it and sealed it over him, so that he would not deceive the nations any longer, until the thousand years were completed, after these things he must be released for a short time. Then I saw thrones, and they sat on them, and judgment was given to them. And I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded because of their testimony of Jesus and because of the word of God, and those who had not worshipped the beast or his image, and had not received the mark on their foreheads and on their hands, and they came to life and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. The rest of the dead did not come to life until the thousand years were completed. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is the one who has a part in the first resurrection, over these the second death has no power, but they will be priests of God and of Christ, and will reign with him for a thousand years. When the thousand years are completed, Satan will be released from his prison, and will come out to deceive the nations which are at the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together for the war, the number of them is like the sand of the seashore. And they came up on the broad plain of the earth and surrounded the camp of the saints and the beloved city, and fire came down from heaven and devoured them. And the devil who deceived them was thrown into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are also, and they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. Then I saw a great white throne in him who sat upon it, from whose presence earth and heaven fled, and no place was found for them. And I saw the dead, the great and the small, standing before the throne, and books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life, and the dead were judged from the things which were written in the books, according to their deeds. And the sea gave up the dead who were in it, and death and Hades gave up the dead who were in them, and they were judged, each one of them according to their deeds. Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. This is the second death, the lake of fire. And if anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth passed away, and there is no longer any sea. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. 
And I heard a loud voice from the throne, saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is among the people, and he will dwell among them, and they shall be his people, and God himself will be among them. And he will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and there will no longer be any death, there will no longer be any mourning, or crying, or pain, the first things have passed away. And he who sits on the throne said, Behold, I am making all things new. And he asterisk said, Write, for these words are faithful and true. Then he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give water to the one who thirsts from the spring of the water of life, without cost. The one who overcomes will inherit these things, and I will be his God and he will be my son. But for the cowardly, and unbelieving, and abominable, and murderers, and sexually immoral persons, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars, their part will be in the lake that burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Then one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls, full of the seven last plagues, came and spoke with me, saying, Come here, I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain, and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. Having the glory of God. Her brilliance was like a very valuable stone, like a stone of crystal clear jasper. It had a great and high wall, with twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels, and names were written on the gates, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the sons of Israel. There were three gates on the east, three gates on the north, three gates on the south, and three gates on the west. And the wall of the city had twelve foundation stones, and on them were the twelve names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. The one who spoke with me had a gold measuring rod to measure the city, its gates, and its wall. The city is laid out as a square, and its length is as great as the width, and he measured the city with the rod, twelve thousand stadia, its length, width, and height are equal. And he measured its wall, one hundred and forty-four cubits, by human measurements, which are also angelic measurements. The material of the wall was jasper, and the city was pure gold, like clear glass. The foundation stones of the city wall were decorated with every kind of precious stone. The first foundation stone was jasper, the second, sapphire, the third, chalcedony, the fourth, emerald. The fifth, sardonyx, the sixth, sardius, the seventh, chrysolite, the eighth, beryl, the ninth, topaz, the tenth, chrysoprase, the eleventh, jacinth, the twelfth, amethyst. And the twelve gates were twelve pearls, each one of the gates was a single pearl. And the street of the city was pure gold, like transparent glass. I saw no temple in it, for the Lord God the Almighty and the Lamb are its temple. And the city has no need of the sun or of the moon to shine on it, for the glory of God has illuminated it, and its lamp is the Lamb. The nations will walk by its light, and the kings of the earth will bring their glory into it. In the daytime, for there will be no night there, its gates will never be closed. And they will bring the glory and the honor of the nations into it. And nothing unclean, and no one who practices abomination and lying, shall ever come into it, but only those whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And he showed me a river of the water of life, clear as crystal, coming from the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the middle of its street. On either side of the river was the tree of life, bearing twelve kinds of fruit, yielding its fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. There will no longer be any curse, and the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it, and his bond servants will serve him. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads.
And there will no longer be any night, and they will not have need of the light of a lamp nor the light of the sun, because the Lord God will illuminate them, and they will reign forever and ever. And he said to me, These words are faithful and true, and the Lord, the God of the spirits of the prophets, sent his angel to show his bondservants the things which must soon take place. And behold, I am coming quickly. Blessed is the one who keeps the words of the prophecy of this book. I, John, am the one who heard and saw these things. And when I heard and saw them, I fell down to worship at the feet of the angel who showed me these things. And he asterisk said to me, Do not do that, I am a fellow servant of yours and of your brothers the prophets, and of those who keep the words of this book. Worship God. And he asterisk said to me, Do not seal up the words of the prophecy of this book, for the time is near. Let the one who does wrong still do wrong, and the one who is filthy still be filthy, and let the one who is righteous still practice righteousness, and the one who is holy still keep himself holy. Behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me, to reward each one as his work deserves. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who wash their robes, so that they will have the right to the tree of life, and may enter the city by the gates. Outside are the dogs, the sorcerers, the sexually immoral persons, the murderers, the idolaters, and everyone who loves and practices lying. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you of these things for the churches. I am the root and the descendant of David, the bright morning star. The spirit and the bride say, Come. And let the one who hears say, Come. And let the one who is thirsty come, let the one who desires, take the water of life without cost. I testify to everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book, if anyone adds to them, God will add to him the plagues that are written in this book. And if anyone takes away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God will take away his part from the tree of life and from the holy city, which are written in this book. He who testifies to these things says, Yes, I am coming quickly. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with all. Amen.